All right, guys, well, the roll cage is completely welded. All the mounting brackets, the seat brackets are welded in. The, the lap belt and the crotch belt are welded in. This thing is done completely other than uh, um, powder coating. So now it's time to get going on this thing. The engine, the old JRE 500 Monster, this thing has just been placed in here. So now that I know everything is done, it's time to start working on steering up there, gas pedal down there, fuel tank, oil to, well, the oil tank's back in the back there, but your fuel tank and your oil filter go up here. So now that everything is done, this is the position it's going to be in. So I'm going to lock that down. So I'm going to start by drilling. I'm just going to do one for now. I just drilled out the back one. So now the engine is where it is going to be finalized 100%. The roll cage. I got uh, my clearance on the ignition here on the old magneto and then another issue that i had run into this is pretty tight is clearance here with the with the valve cover i have to be able to pull these off to do the valve lash at the track and so this cage it 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 is where it is and that's going to be where it needs to be there's no room for slop in there so i'm going to go ahead and drill out a couple of these holes for the feet Get those so then the roll cage is set in there so that's going to be the first step then i'm going to start working on the steering the gas pedal and all that other stuff so let's get going on that thanks for watching hit that like button if you do enjoy the content another quick reminder if you're into airplanes at all or want to see a whole different side of my life go over to jolly roger aviation but let's get going on the steering system that's my priority today all right guys so the the basics of doing a one-man show here it is uh, challenging it, i already set the seat in here i know where the steering wheel feels good to me i get the the angles i get my arms tucked in and all that stuff but how do I hold this thing here to fabricate around it? Well, I'm going to show you what I came up with. I found my uh, a spot here and I literally just have this little overhead system. I found the perfect spot, clamped an overhead thing here, hung it off a welding rod bent to hold the steering wheel. And now I can start fabricating how this steering wheel is going to, obviously this is not how it's going to work, but you got to get creative. When you're working by yourself, if I had a partner here, I could sit in the seat and hold it and have somebody else take some measurements, but it is what it is. Um, you overcome, you figure it out and you move on. So that's what we're doing now. I'm gonna get to going on this start. Uh, I, this is where the, the steering wheel needs to be. Now I'm gonna start working on how I'm gonna anchor this wheel in here. It needs to be solid, can't be any slopping it or anything like that. You cannot weld to your roll cage for any brackets or anything like that. You're not supposed to unless it comes off like a mounting bracket or something like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to come off of this bottom engine bear to anchor this here and then anchor it up into this little uh, stiffener up here in the dash and we'll get to going on that. Well, I got a really good start on the steering system. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is, uh, everything is kind of just set in here for now and I am super happy with it. It really is important for me to get my wrist angle just right. I found this uh, steering wheel on Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but I've modified it. Obviously cut the big top off of it. It just feels good. I went with a little bit bigger diameter steering wheel this year. Just I think because it gives me more feel, more control than the really uh, tight and narrow ones. But I'll tear this thing apart and kind of talk. You saw my little jury rig here on how I, I found the position of it. And what's kind of cool is this thing, I can put it anywhere I want, but I was, I was kind of going through the motions here. When I'm all the way up here, my arms are in too tight. I can't really get the wheel where I want, want it. So I need to have my arms extended out a little bit more, which works perfectly right there. It just feels so natural. Like, and that, like, I swear to goodness that there is a mental block. If, you're, if your gas pedal doesn't feel exactly right, if your steering wheel doesn't feel exactly right, it will drive you crazy. This angle here, you can see it slopes down. If it's if it's more flat, your wrists are are not at the right angle, and that will drive you crazy. I am really digging this angle right here. So that's a, a big positive. So I'm gonna tear this thing apart, kind of show you what I got. Um, oh, quick quick release. That kind of helps you get in and out of the boat. I'll, like I said, I'll put the link down below. I use this sweet quick release. Um, uh, 
steering with the um, splines on a on a welded on I think they're three quarter inch or half inch um, steering column or a steering tube I can't really remember so all this is is a steel um, tube um, it's not solid it is heavy that's the one thing I don't like about it and then you literally put a sprocket up underneath the dash and then you wrap your chain around it like so and then you you do your your cables and your pulleys go off of that chain so this this all be up underneath the dash there's your chain on that will be uh on that shaft with multiple set screws i don't mess around with that and then the rest of this um bronze bushings for these things so this it just turns so good and it won't, won't bind up what i did is i took a, a piece of um, aluminum pipe or tubing i think it was pipe it was fairly thick walled and I welded on an end to this that just fit exactly the bushing that goes in there like that. And then I did the same thing on this other end. But you have to get some dispersion on this thing or it's just going to be super floppy. So that was essentially welded on there. And then I put, checked it up in the lathe, made it all nice and perfect, put some 3M Scotch-Brite pad. It's a beautiful, it turned out awesome, nice uh, um, brush look if you will and then there's another bushing back there so that when this thing goes in there like right there it's all floppy and you got a fish for there's that other bushing and then that thing is super tight so one thing i will say i and i knew this is going to happen there's still more to do with this is side to side i tied into this under brace here side to side this steering doesn't want to go anywhere but when i go up and down a lot of flex because all it's doing is rolling that up and under so um, I knew that was going to happen. I'm either going to do one of two things. I'm either going to put a, a tube down right down to the, the um, engine bear down here. That will get rid of all of that. Um, if I want to try to keep this area under my feet, I may be able to anchor off the back of that steering shaft and kind of tie that into the bow, and that will take some of that out as well. I haven't decided on how I want to do that. This stuff is super thin, so there's always going to be flex to it, and that's why I like to tie down to bigger, meatier stuff. Um, but I'm super excited with, man, this is like side to side. There isn't any movement at all on that. It's just the up and down flex. Yeah, that's, it's just going to run a roll that really hundred thousandths or whatever this stuff is under here. It's just, it's part of the game, I guess. But uh, I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to tie something down to here, 99% sure. So what's next? Now, now that I got this thing located exactly where it's going to be, I got to start working this and the chain and the cables and all the pulleys to get it back to the pump so i was just underneath the bow putting that thing on there and i realized like it it's impossible there's too much i can't get in these spots with the roll cage in here so i marked out in here where the cage is and i'm going to pull it all out pull the seat pull the cage out leave this in and then i'm going to start that will give me more room in here to crawl up under here get those brackets built and all that so gonna get to going on that get this cage out of here and get to rigging the uh, steering system up
All right, guys, I'm not gonna say I made good progress. I'm gonna say I made progress with this steering. It's time to go back to work. So before I head out, pack my suitcase and hit the road, I'll show you, update everybody on what I got done. Every time I do these stupid steering systems, the cables and the pulleys are a pain in the ass. There's no other way to put it. And I don't know why I struggle with it so much. Um, I just do. Getting them aligned right is, God, it's my nemesis. Getting the, the pit, the roll, the, the whatever, it is a pain in the ass, the height of it. I did use something that I want to show you. I used my little uh, cheapo, um, whatever you call these things, laser pointer or whatever you want to call. And I put that on the back here of the, the sprocket so I can project over there that angle to get the, the angle of those pulleys right. So why do I have to do that? Well, because this thing is at a slope and then that sprocket is square to that, it's not square to the side of your boat. It's canted at that same angle over there. So this little angle, that's how I use to find that. So that's why those pulleys are at that different uh, angle. So when you, you look under here, that's why, I mean, it's hard to get that just right, honestly. And I've, in the past, I put straight edges off the pulleys, but that laser worked really, really well. So that's step one. Step two is this, this here's the line that I, I drew for the outside of my roll cage. And I don't have a lot of room here to run my lines back here. So um, here's a little trick of the trade that I've learned is bungee cords. I use bungee cords, clamp them to the back where they're gonna go tie my string so then I have some tension on here um, that helps you kind of align these things. So when you're looking down, look, I'm good to go with the clearance on the roll cage. So that was step two. Step three was building this bracket and getting the holes to, to line up uh, with everything to mount my first 90 degree pulleys there. So this, that front bracket there's a lot of different angles i got the slope coming down from the pulley i got the lean out from the angle of the steering shaft and then i got to set the right depth of it to get it out over and out of the way of my legs of the roll cage and of the the side of the boat honestly so that is uh it's all done i'm pretty stoked this is my final thing these little i completely made these little pulley brackets 100 percent from scratch bent some steel over made essentially like these things are flexible if you can see so that they will essentially as you as you tension these these things will always as you pull harder and harder and harder these things will always self correct if you will they're always going to self align having them be flexible like that they're flexible in their movement but they are absolutely in their location i should say so that's it i and i'll show you really quick when you do the steering wheel so there's this is just this is like no torque at all just off the bungee uh bungee tension if you will this thing's working pretty good i'm pretty you can see those things move a little bit as you kind of take the tension on and off of them but that's how i did the 146 and that has been the best steering feeling boat that i had you got to have it absolutely correct because you want those um those lines those cables tight like a piano wire but if you get them too tight and they start to bind your steering feels gritty and bindy and sound that's a good word bindy so i really took my time on the 146 and man the steering on that boat was the sweetest honestly of i've ever felt of any boat honestly so i wanted to replicate that and do it right it's time to pack up i'm frustrated my shop is a disaster but i'm gonna i guess i'll clean it up before i go to work have hope you guys have a great weekend i'm gonna upload this on sunday so you won't be seeing this until sunday but hope you guys are having a great weekend i get back from this trip on monday and i'm gonna start working again on this thing on tuesday i think the next step would be the the gas pedal so here we go let's go have a great weekend